Today we are going to do a quick review on the Vulcan OmniPro 220 Multiprocess Welder that allows for both 120 and 240 volt input. In this video we're focusing on the 120 volt input and the flux core welding setting. This welder comes equipped with all the accessories you need to run MIG and stick. If you want to run TIG you're going to have to get some additional accessories which are currently not being sold at Harbor Freight. I purchased this unit for $730 with a coupon, not including tax. In this video, we will be working with 12 gauge mild steel, and then we'll go ahead and do a lap joint and a quick right angle joint. I really enjoy the user interface with the 4.3 inch LCD screen. It makes it really easy to set up your equipment so that you can go ahead and weld, and it also kind of makes it dummy proof. As you see here, we flip to flux core, it tells us no gas is required, and how to have our ground strap and where to have our MIG gun pointed. This makes it really easy to go ahead and start getting welded and make sure that you don't have any weird cross ups. You also have the ability to adjust your wire speed and your voltage with the two dials on the other side of the center. I'm just setting this up so I'm going to do a couple of quick tack welds and then I'm going to go ahead and run a weld along the bottom of that right angle joint. I wish I had a stronger generator so go ahead and take a listen as this welder makes that generator struggle. As I'm welding along, you can tell that I'm not getting a consistent arc as the generator RPM is fluctuating. We're going to take some time and look at some of the photos of the welds from today. I typically don't use flux core on anything automotive. I really use it on farm equipment and things of that nature if I'm outside and the wind's blowing real hard to blow away my gas cover. Now this is my first weld right here of the day. You can see that my speed was uh, consistent but too fast and I didn't have enough overlap so that's a bad weld. My second weld is uh, starting off kind of rough gets even worse and then at the end it starts to clean up and then it gets even worse again. I was having difficulty keeping my hand and elbow locked so there was a lot of uh, wander with the big gun. And as you can see here in this my top weld was one of my first ones and my bottom was my one of the last and the top one's pretty inconsistent and terrible and the bottom one doesn't look too bad. I was able to clean it up get some good control and what I'm doing is just a C cup type pattern and I'm just dragging that puddle along. I hope this video was able to help you decide if you wanted to pick up this welder or not. I'm going to be doing many parts on this, focusing on uh, MIG with gas next, doing 220 MIG and 120 MIG with gas, as well as focusing on some TIG and some stick. For all that stuff I'm going to bring in an expert, my good friend from childhood who has uh, welded nuclear pipe for the Navy and his welds are just way more quality than I am able to produce which will be really great because he can properly demonstrate the capabilities of this unit. If you like this video and you want to see more, like, comment, and share. Also, let me know what else you'd like to see about this unit so I can go ahead and make a video of that too. Happy motoring.